On the contract of Rema, the prince clarifies his position and the position of Maven Records in the contract of Rema. A lot of people have been speculating that Rema is being exploited by these two, you know, record label. And right now, this guy is coming out to say Rema actually signed a joint contract with Maven Records and John Z. Ward. That is a good explanation according to him on Hip TV recently. I keep on saying that we need to craft a better legal framework for entertainment in Nigeria. A lot of people need to actually understand, you know, when it comes to contracts like this. You know, Maven Record has a better structure and also John Z. Ward has a better structure right now. These guys are really a cashing out of Rema and some people are saying we hope that Rema is still getting a lot from this joint uh, record label deal because some people feel that it's going to be so expensive for Rema at the end of the day. But in clarification, Josie Ward, that is a person of the Prince Omoba, has come out to establish the position of the contract, and everybody can get to understand it better right now. Rema Ashake Nicki Minaj to headline 2024 Afro Nation concert in Portugal that will be holding on. 26 to 28 of June 2024 and a lot of people are really excited to have this Nigerian artist headline the show. This event was supposed to hold in Nigeria but because of some technicalities they decided to remove it from Nigeria. It was supposed to be held at TBS, Tafa Balewa Square in Lagos, but something happened and they got to move it to Portugal. Earlier when it was announced that it's going to be heard in Nigeria, a lot of people were really excited because it would have had an immense impact in the Nigeria entertainment space at a time like this. And some people were like disappointed when it was moved from Lagos. Right now, we still got our artists headlining that concert and it's going to be all interesting at the end of the day. It would have been an opportunity to showcase some more talent from Nigeria and also an opportunity for a lot of fans to attend concert for free. We'll be having Rema, Ashake and Nicki Minaj headline that concert and what is your own thought about that? I want you to put that in the comment section. Rema will be featuring Justin Durello in his new album called The New King and a lot of people are waiting for that album to drop in anytime soon. Remember that Rema Rave and Roses actually did and performed better than most of the big albums in Africa. And right now this guy is trying to drop another album having some American artists on this album. is going to lit up uh, the entertainment space to an extent because some people felt that Rema does not disappoint any day, any time based on his quality of sounds and the uniqueness of his sounds. He called it Afro Riff and that is the new in the industry right now and some people are really responding to that. Rema being able to top Indian charts, Arabian charts and also some charts or funny ones around the world is an indication that the style of song or the style of music Music for Rema is really working for a whole lot of people in the industry. I think some people are really working on it now and making do and achieving their goal with this kind of sound. This is to show you that Nigerians are really growing every day in terms of entertainment and we have to invest ourselves in it if we must cash out big time on it. Bonaboy ties terms as Nigerian artist with most big board hot 100 entries. Bonaboy has 5 entries, Thames 5 entries. And we have Whiskey with 4 entries, Rema got 1 entry, and a person of Fireboy an entry, and also CK got an entry. But right now, Bonaboy is on the rise and on the lose right now. A lot of people are saying Bonaboy deserves a Grammy award this year also. What is your own take about that? I want you to put that in the comment section. Billboard Hot 100 is a big deal for Nigerians, it's a big deal for African entertainment. I think a lot of people are laboring for that and Burner Boy is one of the champions of uh, Billboard Hot 100 having a tie with a person of terms on 5 each. I am not a blogger that is coming in from Tunde Ednot to Peter Obi. Recently, Peter Obi sent out a message to Tunde Ednot on his birthday, and Tunde Ednot was so excited to have that message. In that message, Peter Obi referred to Tunde Ednot as a blogger. But right now, Tunde Ednot is coming out to say he's not a blogger, but he's an entertainer. Do you think Tunde Ednot is an entertainer? I want you to put that in the comment section. According to Tunde Ednot, he said this is huge for 
for me now. I am very honored, sir. Thank you, but sir, I am not a blogger, sir. I am an entertainer. Do you think Tunde Ednot is an entertainer? Put that in the comment section. Ghana celebs are not really excited about what is happening right now. A lot of people can really attest to that. They fell out of the AFCON. They could not qualify from group stage and that is really embarrassing to the black stars of Ghana and most celebrities like uh, Shadawali and others are responding to that and mocking out black stars of Ghana. But you have to be patriotic enough you have to support your own country and for them leaving that stadium it was really really tough for them because Ghanaian fans decided to attack their own persons for not qualifying at the AFCON. What is your own thought about what I've said so far? I want you to put that in the comment section so that we can talk about it further.